We're standing in the main Old Town Square in Prague. Of course, it's the Christmas season. Actually, it's already January. But the, behind me, you'll see the famous statue of John Hus in Czech Jan Hus, who was born 1371, about 85 miles south of here. Uh, he became a Catholic priest, was a brilliant scholar, teacher, preacher, and reformer. He ministered during a very turbulent time in the Roman Catholic Church. That uh, at that time they had two, sometimes three, popes, and so it was a time where unity was the priority for the church. And so this priest down here in Prague, Czech Republic, was becoming more and more popular. Although he held to most of the teachings of the Catholic Church, he opposed indulgences, he opposed the withholding of the cup during the communion, he. Uh, also opposed the Crusades and uh, other practices, and ultimately he said that the Word of God held sway even over the leadership of the Church, including the Pope. And uh, that was probably the largest charge against him, and so he was invited to the Council of Constance in southern Germany, and uh, there, in fact, the Emperor Sigmund uh, promised a safe passage both to and from uh, that conference. And so in 1414, he traveled there to south Germany, Immediately upon arrival, he was put into prison. Uh, there, the uh, officials of the Catholic Church demanded that he recant from some false teachings. He actually said he doesn't accept any of those teachings. He would sign, actually, uh, a statement uh, declaring them as false, but he could not recant because he never taught them nor believed them. Well, finally, after many months there, he was condemned. Uh, actually, the charge was insubordination, not heresy. And uh, he was executed on July the 6th of 1415. He was tied to a stake. Uh, a fire was built around him, and actually the executioner came with the torch. And he said, today I cook a goose, because his last name Hus, or Hus, in the Czech language actually means goose. And the response was, yes, you do, but in a hundred years, an eagle will come forth. In almost a hundred years to the year, uh, Martin Luther, October 31st, 1517, with the 95 pieces on the Wittenberg door. On the statue that you see behind me there, you'll find the words, love each other and wish the truth to everyone, which is a direct quote from Huss. You'll also see soldiers, which were Hussite warriors. For nearly 200 years, a brutal battle was fought between the Catholic Church and the Reformed Church. Here, sometimes called the Czech Brethren, sometimes the Moravian brother, Brethren. And you also see huddled masses there because many had to evacuate and refugees actually left the country simply over the faith that they wanted to be biblical. Well, again, a hundred years later, Luther would stand and pronounce sola scriptura, the scripture alone, uh, but it began here with John Huss.